A U key. A key. U key. One of those keys, whatever it is, this is an 87 key backlit mechanical keyboard by A U key. This keyboard is meant for gamers. It gives you the easy keystrokes, fancy lights, and of course, a compact design for the more aggressive gamers. So let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what it looks like. Now this keyboard comes with the imitation Cherry MX blue switches. They call it the blue switch. It's supposed to represent what the blue switch should be like, but they're not true blue switches. The keys have pretty good response. They're a little loud, but then again, they are imitation blue, so that might be your thing. But they are very responsive and they feel pretty solid overall. In fact, the keyboard, I mean, the keyboard just feels like it's very solid built. It's got a plastic design. It gives you some basic functionality here to raise it up off the desk. But overall, it feels like it has some pretty good quality to it. The keys are kind of raised off of the keyboard here, as you can see from the sides. And I would say that the only thing really missing from this keyboard is the number pad. I'm a number pad user, I like number pad. So I got my computer here, let's go ahead and plug this in and see what it looks like. Hmm, don't know if you can see that or not, but it has kind of an interesting startup where it goes through all the different colors. Let's try that again. Nope, just powers on like regular once it does its fancy startup routine. Looks like the default color is a rainbow effect. So let's see what it looks like with the lights off. Hey Siri, turn off. Okay, the scene is set. Well, there you have it. Definitely very bright, very vibrant, good colors to it. Definitely has a lot of options, so I'm gonna go ahead and read through the instruction manual and see how to customize this. Hey Siri, turn on my studio. Okay, they are on. 24 month warranty, two years. User manual. Okay, looks like you can adjust the brightness by holding the F in and pushing up or down. So for the different lighting modes, you basically have F in one through eight. You have different gaming modes like frames per second games, different types of layouts that you can highlight different keys depending on what game you're playing. Hopefully this shows up on camera. I won't be able to read what they do, but let's go ahead and cycle through them. We have FN1, FN2, FN, that was three, FN2, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then off or page up. Nope, that was insert. FN insert apparently makes it do fancy things. So there's eight different presets that you can do for different types of gamings, also some other effects that you can do. The great thing about this is that you don't actually have to have any software on your computer in order to change or modify these. Uh, you can go through, pick your profile, and change the speed, the brightness, that sort of thing and you don't actually need any kind of interaction with your computer other than the power. In fact, you can even record and save custom profiles and effects right from the keyboard, again, without any kind of software. So I think this is actually really nice for those uh, people who might not want to install a custom software for every peripheral that they put into their computer, something that I personally don't like doing myself. Now me personally, I'm not a hardcore gamer, so even though I do enjoy these imitation blue switches, 
Personally, I really use the number pad on the side quite often, mainly because I deal with a lot of numbers, so that's kind of a miss for me. But this company does make the same version keyboard that does have the number pad on the side, uh, if that is something that you would use yourself. But of course, it will cost a little bit more. If you want some more information as far as how much this keyboard costs, I will link to that in the description below for you to check out. Uh, I will also link to the keyboard that has the number pad. That way you can check out the latest pricing available. Hmm, kind of interesting. These are the imitation blue switches that you get. Well, that's it for today. Just a basic keyboard, overall good quality, decent sound, maybe a little loud for my personal taste, and it doesn't have the number pad, which I would use a lot. Although that option is available, they did not send that one to me. If you like this video and you wanna see more random products like this, make sure to like and subscribe below. Thank you for watching and have a great day.